Yo, what's up YouTube? Tix here, bringing you guys on the Escape from Tarkov gun build video. In today's gun build video, we're going to quickly be looking at the STM and why I think this is one of the better guns you can use uh, early on in the wipe and all the way up to late game. I'm going to explain a few reasons why. So, first of all, as you guys know, there's a new recoil system in Tarkov right now, which basically means all full auto guns have crazy recoil. Um, as you guys have probably, you know, seen yourself by trying them. Now, the good thing about the STM is actually it's a semi-rifle. So that means naturally it's going to have less recoil anyway. And if you can click fast, it's perfect for you. Um, and you can be more precise with your shots, which is nice. Now, I have two builds for you here, guys. I have the best in slot build and I have the budget build for people that are broke. Uh, as you can see by the thumbnail and title, I wanted to appeal to both audiences. So for people that have got high level traders and for people that are new to the game and want something good that's easy to use. As a lot of guns early wipe, I've got a lot of recoil and there's not really good choices that you can use right now. So um, I'm sure there is other good choices, sorry. Um, but in my opinion, I think the STM is one of the better choices right now. I'm going to explain to you why. So first of all, as we can see right here, we've got the standard build. This is literally... STM bought from the trader with a scope literally whacked on top of it. We got the FF3, which is my personal favorite right here. Uh, I think this is an amazing gun. As you can see, 69 ergo and 34 recoil, which initially is absolutely nothing. Now, the good thing about the STM is it actually has like a hidden stat. Basically, the camera recoil is non-existent. Whenever you shoot this gun, you will not see any visual recoil at all on your screen which is why it's really, really nice for hitting headshots. Honestly, I'd say this gun is more of a headshot gun rather than a leg meta gun, but you'll see what I mean when you use it. Um, I've been recommending a lot of people to my stream to try this gun out when they get Peacekeeper level two. Um, if you come over to the flea market like so, all the traders, you can actually pick it up pretty cheap from the flea market or you can buy it from Skip for 44,000 rubles. Now, it does come with a magazine and it comes with a big stick. You can buy the big stick for around three to 7,000 rubles on the flea market. This fluctuates a little bit, but this is a 33 round out. The reason you buy this over the 50 round out is because it's got high ergo, which makes it very easy for you to hit those headshots, which I think is amazing. So here's my best in slot build. It has 69 ergo and 21 vertical recoil. I have done some testing and you can get this down to 19 recoil, but in my opinion, I think this is overall the best build you can use if you want to go full min max. Um, so yeah, for the video sake, I'm actually going to go and raid with just the normal STM from traders for you guys. Because a lot of you guys probably won't have the decked out STM. Now, if you do want to see me use this STM decked out uh, in future videos or maybe on my Twitch channel, then let me know. Come and you know drop a follow or a sub or whatever you want to do. And uh, I'll probably use this if you ask me. Personally, I'm actually using this gun quite a lot in labs right now as it's a very fun gun to use. Um, and it's very good for killing raiders, surprisingly. Um, now, before we get into the video real quick uh, of the gameplay and stuff, I'm going to quickly explain a few things. Um, now, you're going to be like, well, Tiggs, I can't buy AP 6.3 like you can. Well, uh, for one, I actually don't buy my AP 6.3. I get mine from Killing Raiders on Labs. Um, that's how I've stocked up on a ton of it. Uh, AP 6.3 uh, is a very good round right now if you can use it. Uh, there's not many people have tier 5 and tier 6 armors. And this shouldn't really have any issues going through tier 4 visors and stuff like that. And helmets overall i think ap63 is an amazing round uh, at this point in the wipe um but obviously you guys aren't gonna have ap6.3 because you're probably low level so what do i recommend i recommend you guys come over to prepare and buy uh pst gzh uh, pst gzh is around like 50 -ish flesh damage and around 25 to 30 pen which overall is pretty solid um obviously it's not going to do too well against tier 4 armors but you're not really using this ammo for that uh, armor penetration this ammo is strictly for headshotting people now you can leg meter if you want to but in my opinion i wouldn't even waste your time i would just go for the headshots if someone has a nice helmet on and they're tanking a few shots they're not going to be able to see anything because you're just constantly hitting them in the face uh, as you will see in the video later on this gun literally has zero recoil which makes it super super easy to hit those headshots so yeah that is pretty much the reason why i would use pst if i were you guys the other options aren't really use like worth it in my opinion like i said if you can get um ap 6.3 then go for it but honestly it's going to be really hard for you to get it unless you farm labs but if you can get it then great whack it in this build and you'll see the you'll see how good it actually is uh i actually think this is a really really fun gun this web to use uh so now we're going to go into raid guys i'm going to obviously use pst for the example of this video and uh let me go let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the uh, stm personally i think it's one of my favorites to swipe i'm definitely going to be using a lot more the recall alone on this gun makes it very very um usable and makes me want to use it more just because of that 
before we go into raid, actually, I will show you the recoil right now. Insert the hideout of a fully decked out STM. So let's do that real quick. Also, guys, I have seen your comments in the section saying about my microphone quality uh, and not being very easy for you to hear me. I hope we've fixed that now. So just let me know as well if I have. So we're in the hideout now. I'm going to show you the fully decked out STM right here with a full spray. As you can see guys, there is absolutely no recoil at all. All of the bullets just literally collect in one place. It is actually insane how easy this gun is to use. Now this is obviously with using a visor and stuff like that. I will show you an example now without any armor. For the purpose of the video, I will show you again. Um, let me do this, I'll turn on the flashlight. We're gonna use a long range target. This is with me clicking as fast as I can. I'm pretty sure that's the RPM cap. But as you can see, recoil like this. And at long range, the recoil is like this, which is pretty nuts. So yeah, I'm going to crack into a raid now. I'm going to show you against real players. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be the video. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. To, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, then definitely subscribe. We'll, you'll we'll definitely see them. Um, and thank you so much for all the support, guys. Uh, I will be doing the raid. Uh, after this little segment now, so if you want to see it in action, make sure to stay tuned. Okay, we're in raid now with a non-modded STM, guys. This is the one that you can literally buy from traders uh, and just whack a scope on it with any modifications at all. As you can see, very snappy, like very, very snappy coming around corners, which is really nice. Like very high ergo and literally zero recoil, which is what like I really like about this gun. It makes it very easy to use. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't even hear him because the Reese is like literally removes all the audio, man. Okay, that's three Timmy's down. Obviously, these guys aren't like crazy geared, but that's not the point. I just wanted to show you the recall and what it's like in action. Um, okay, there should be one more player. If there's not Hordish, you'll have to cut this, okay? <laughs> oh man, I feel sorry for these guys, man. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the STM non-modded. Um... As you can see, the stats are pretty nuts, and like I said, guys, from what I said earlier in the video, there is literally no recoil at all. Uh, we were using PST ammo here, so people were tanking a little bit, but um, overall, you just want to be going for headshots, man. Like, I wasn't super accurate with my shots here. Um, if I was actually accurate, my aim was warmed up, you'd, I'd be hitting, like, one taps in the head here, real, like, real easy. But yeah, that's pretty much the STM non-modded. Uh, I will take it in raid now with the fully modded version for you guys. Um, so you guys can see what the fully modded versions like. It won't be too much different, but um, yeah, we'll bring it in anyway and show you. All right, guys, we're in raid now with a modded STM. This is personally my best in slot build that I like to use the most. Let's see what we can do with it. We are using AP 6.3 as well, if you're curious. Oh, it's so nice having a scope on factory. I have to sell down the hallways and stuff. Hopefully these guys don't die so I can kill them. No, Timmy! Timmy, no! Oh, Timmy! What are you doing? Whoopi! There should be more players. Oh, it's so nice, man. There's actually no recoil. Oh! Oh, okay. This guy's fucking me up. He's got leg meta. Leg meta stronger. Okay. I actually got a fight here. This guy's messing me up, man. Oh, shit. Okay, brother man. Sorry there, brother man, Bill. AP632 strong, brother. That guy's pretty geared. He actually, he actually fucked me up, dude. Legmender is so strong. Okay, great. Right, decently geared. AP had no problem dropping him, though. Let's heal up a little bit. <laughs> Holy shit. I was not expecting that. And then I got dinked in the head, too. From before. 
I am going to heal up, guys, because um, there was someone with an AK, I think, that shot me in the back of the head. Usually, I would just run, run it down, but I don't want to risk it, you know what I mean? Especially with this gear, so I'm just going to heal up. And yeah. There should be like one or two more players. No, Scav! As you guys saw, though, dude, AP actually got hit. They got tanked off the ricochet. Oh. Underneath me? Oh, right here. I think it's underneath. Audio's a little buggy here. Oh, no, he was above me. Damn. Timmy made a mistake. I'm sorry, Timmy, man. Honestly, though, guys, on the decked out version of this build, you could run a different scope. Uh, there is an issue with this scope um, called eye relief. Basically, what that means is inside the scope, the black areas are really, like, dark and can restrict your vision quite a lot. Um, but I just like the mill dots and the, the Boris. But you can use any scope you want on the, the fully built one. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's raid, guys. So, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a quick example of the guns. Obviously, if I had, if I had better raids and more footage of me using it in, like, you know, full full duration raids and more kills, it would be amazing. But, um, unfortunately, I don't have that footage as I've been very busy making content on the YouTube, on the uh, Twitch channel. Um, but maybe in the future, we'll uh, actually get more, you know, interesting raids for you guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick brief and example on the guns. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Like I said before, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.